Hi everyone, all you ChatGPT people out there, you know ChatGPT can do a lot for you. Here's a simple one and just a basic. I wanted to create a rubric to assess students participation in the class that I'm teaching in the coming semester. Now, this is a starting point and you can do editing afterwards, but you want to get something to work with and that helps speed up your preparation. So the first thing you want to ask ChatGPT is, is assume you're a university teacher developing a new course, please provide a three point assessment rubric based on classroom interaction, listening and preparedness. So I've actually given ChatGDP the context and also I've actually given some structure about how I want ChatGDP to how I want it to answer the question. That is, I want a rubric with three rows based on classroom interaction, listening and preparedness. So this is what chat GDP comes up with. And, and that's the following. And that is, we've got classroom interaction, we've got listening and we've got preparedness and a lot of details underneath. Ah, and so what, what do you want to do next? This is great. Thank you. For each of these three areas, please provide a five point rubric standard to grade student participation. Why would you do that? So first of all, I asked ChatGDP for the rows, that is, what are, the, what are the different criteria we want to judge our students on? Now I want ChatGDP to create the columns. And I've set up a five point rubric standard. Certainly, so ChatGDP has come up with a five point rubric standard to grade participation in each of the three areas, classroom interaction, listening and preparedness. So under classroom interaction, there is a level one, level two, level three, level four, level five, level five being the best and level one being the worst. And again, under listening, one, two, three, four, five. And then under preparedness, one, two, three, four, five. Wonderful. Okay, so this is a starting point. So what I've done now is ask ChatGDP to first give me the rows, and now they've, I've, ChatGDP has given me the columns. So what do we do now? Thank you for this list. Great job. Can you now put this list into a table setting, three rows for the three areas, and five columns for the standards? And so here we have ChatGDP first take at creating a table. And you can see that ChatGDP put in level one to level five, and then ChatGDP actually did remember the three rows, that is classroom interaction, listening and preparedness, but forgot all of the detail in each of the cells. Ah, so what do I say? Can you redo the table, but re-sequence the levels from five to one, because I want five to be on the left hand side and one to be on the right hand side. So here we have ChatGDP GDP has moved it around from level five down to level one. Thank you. Can you take the same table and add in the detail of behavior required for each standard that you listed earlier? Again, ChatGPT didn't put in all the details, so now I want ChatGDP to put in all the detail. So now ChatGDP is now putting in the detail under each of the rows for classroom interaction, for listening, and preparedness. Ah, but notice that ChatGDP went back from level one to level five, but I want level five first and level one on the far right hand side. Ah, so what do I ask ChatGDP now? In this revised table, that ChatGDP is explaining what they've done, so that's perfect. This is great. Now, can you re-sequence the levels in the table from five to one? And so ChatGDP moves it around from level five to level one. And again, this is basically my starting point for figuring out the rubric that I will work for grading student participation. And I just say, thank you, this is really good. So let's just see where we started with. I started with, I asked ChatGDP to actually set up different standards or different behaviors that you would expect to see in grading classroom interaction, listening, and preparedness. I set up the I set up the rows. Next, I asked for, can you give me five standards 
from low to high or high to low. Ah, and then I asked it to populate, expand the population of each cell. And then finally, I asked ChatGDP to actually re resequence to put level five first and level one last. So that's how you set up a basic Rubik. Now I can work with that and start editing different parts, what I like, what I don't like. This is how ChatGDP can help you. It helps you get past the initial stage of setting up a baseline from you to use your own judgment, your expertise as a teacher, as a professor, to actually properly design the Rubik to use in the classroom. This is O'Connor. See you in the classroom and see you back in the YouTube channel. Bye for now.